Hey guys, welcome. My name is Arthur and today I would like to show you how you can use a previously deployed smart contract inside your Remix. I saw that uh, many people ask this question on my Discord channel and in some comments to some of my previous videos on this channel. Uh, so today I will show you because it's quite simple. So let's say we have the smart contract that we had in our Remix and we deployed it to the testnet uh, some days ago. So for instance, I can go right now to my MetaMask and of course I will use the same account that I used uh, some days ago. And here you can see that I have the old transaction that I actually deployed the contract um, to the testnet. And if I would um, just copy the transaction ID, and now I can head over to the blockchain explorer and just uh, search for the transaction. And here I can grab the um, address of the smart contract that I deployed uh, through the Remix some days ago. Now I can just um, copy the address of that smart contract and now um, I can get back to my Remix and all I have to do is make sure that the code didn't change over time because of course if you would add some uh, functions here that were not deployed to that smart contract this technique will not work. However, if the code is still the same uh, we can just uh, compile the smart contract and when it's compiled I can head over to um, to this section here, deploy and run transactions. I have to the change the environment into injected web tree. And here is my address from the Mumbai um, testnet. This is the testnet for the polygon. And here I can just um, specify the name of my contract, which is the game items, this ERC 1155 smart contract. And here I can load um, the contract from the given address. And now I can just uh, use the any function from this smart contract. So for Charizard, we would see that Charizard is zero, Charmander is three. And for instance, I can just grab the token ID of some, um, some token that I um, minted along the way. So that's as you can see that's fairly simple uh, the 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 one thing that you have to remember is of course to use the same um, wallet address uh, because uh, for instance if you are the owner of the contract you might have some special powers uh, regarding the contract uh, and it's also uh, important to just uh, not uh, forget to save your code of the smart contract and remain it unchanged because otherwise if i would add some functions and try to interact with this contract, contract uh, that would have the different code, it will not work. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something new. If you have some questions regarding Ethereum, uh, just head over to my Discord or ask your questions in the comment section down below. See you on this channel.